Set now for our co-main event, Chris Petty. So here we go. We got Chris Petty. He is 32. He's 5'10". He's known as the Punisher. This is a catch weight at 150 because it was basically put together kind of last minute. Yeah. Um, he considers the style freestyle. He's from Cape Girardeau. He's out of the War Eagle fight team. D-Ray Ivey is his coach. He also has Josh Caputo and Caleb Woodside, which I've seen with Caleb Woodside in the back. He has some nice striking. Uh, Caleb Woodside's been his main partner, which makes sense because Caleb is a known kickboxer. And so his pro record is 6-10, and 10, but I can tell you this. Chris hardly ever fights in the weight class he should be in, and he takes a lot of last-minute fights. So that's 6-10, and 10, again, a little bit deceiving. Right. This is quartz in his weight class, so this could be, you know, his chance if to it's prove it's that it's the weight. <laughs> if, if it's that, if it's anything like this, then like this, yeah. this would be a, a wild thing. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, with the way tonight's been, yeah, I guess we'd be shocked if it ends up right. going going the distance. Right. A skillful decision, I don't know. Uh, it's always a good chance with a kickboxing. Yeah, and then his, his keys to victory speed, power timing. He wants to be meaner and more technical. And then he feels he hits harder than any other 145er, which I'm sure Court would disagree with. And <laughs> well, and he'll get a chance to prove that. <laughs> yeah, and well, we'll get to Court in a second, but... Yeah. They're pretty even across the board as far as height, age, nothing too different. Uh, like I said, Chris Petty has been in the ring with some of the bigger boys, so that gives him that experience. Yeah, and I mean, you see that he has wins over Luis Pena. Yeah. That's a big That's, that's a, a big, big one notch. to hold on yeah. yourself. On his way now, Court Wall! We got out of the red corner, we have Fort Wall, he's 5'11", he's uh, Yeon 28, and he's ready to do some damage, it looks like. He is a Bellator veteran, very interesting, seeing him walking into his first pro kickboxing fight. So, as although he's not, like you said, he's not new to the cage, it's his new event for him, the new kickboxing slowly, not being able to go to the ground. Um, he's out of Alton Family Martial Arts. He did not put down a fighting style, He, but he says, he can pick his shots from wherever he is, and that's going to be something tough for his opponent. Um, other than that, he, he I like the Sonny's chose. He actually said he's cho he chose it funky. It caught my attention for a second. He okay, said he chose it because it's funky, that. yeah. <laughs> um, but he's trying to make money now, he says, so I, I don't blame him. If he's got the hands to, to pay him, then why not? Um, other than that, he... His main training partners this camp, he says, has been Brandon Lowe. And in his corner tonight, he had Alex Minow that we used to see earlier. I've seen, I've seen Brandon Lowe out there in his corner. And it's good to see Alex Minner out there to Absolutely. know him. he's okay. Yeah. Absolutely. He so. states he is his head coach. Now, that could be good on some people. And it could be, you know, it could be tough to, yeah. to not learn. So as long as he's learning from his team, too, and, and always growing, I think that's a great deal. That's where I think cross-training is a big thing. Yes. All right, well, let's get this one going. I'm excited. The co-main event of Nemesis Fighting Alliance 14 is brought to you by JC's AC. For all your heating and cooling needs, call JC's AC, 636-795-7782. We're set now for professional kickboxing at a contract weight of 150 pounds, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, the blue corner, standing five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing 146.4 pounds. With 16 professional MMA fights to his credit, tonight he makes his professional kickboxing debut representing War Eagle Fight Team. He fights out of Cape Girardeau, Missouri, Chris, the Punisher, Petty. And now introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Standing 5 feet 11 inches tall, his official weight 149.3 pounds. At 5 wins against 5 losses and coming off a devastating 24 second victory in his last MMA bout. Tonight he makes his professional kickboxing debut representing Alton Family Martial Arts. He fights out of Godfrey, Illinois court from the window to the wall. 
your referee, Josh Stewart. Man, I didn't have that nickname on Wasn't my Wasn't aware. What could he use? <laughs> they misspe- so, so you've seen him pointing. Uh, they misspelled his name on the, Aww, <laughs> on the big tron. It happens. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's the fighter picture's right, but the, so here in uh, Ballpark Village, they have, I don't remember what, what you call them, but those screens that go around, his name was spelled wrong. All right, let's not. Oh, he popped, he popped Chris pretty quick. quick. It might not be something too tough, but it might throw their confidence a little bit, too. Not much filling out here. No. no. They're both eager to get it, it looks like. Nice kick out of court. Ooh, heavy kick. Oh, 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 but he ate two. Heavy punches, a counter. Here we go. Good head movement by court. And that's where the MMA is coming out. They start banging. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, technique's out. Yeah, but it doesn't play the same way nope. when you got those gloves Absolutely on. Absolutely does bounces. not. Nope. Oh, good leg kick followed with the left hook. So we see Ford's brand nice. That was okay. a good spin. It looked like he confused Chris a little bit there. Chris went to throw a check. and it You can see what each one is more comfortable with here mm-hmm. real quick. Ford's got those nice kicks. Ooh. Oh! Oh! That'll do wow. it. Yeah. Well, he's Nope, he's getting up, he's getting up, he's getting he's up. He's not out. He's no. a great he's actor when he fell on the I thought that too. I was like, is he wow. out? That, that, that was rough yeah. looking at He might not be out that there. Was a, that was a family guy fall. <laughs> that was rough. Well, wow. Oh, nice ran those kick. heavy blows, so I think he's going to look for oh. it. They are both. They're wrong. both doing, I mean, this. yeah, they're looking good. I, I don't know if we're going to make out the first well, round, but they're looking if, good. If, if Port can recover <laughs> from that, believe. which it looks like he is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he had Chris in a little bit of dared. He had Chris in a little bit of uh, trouble earlier too. Well, see now, Court's a Taekwondo guy, and sometimes Taekwondo guys leave their chin up. They like to throw, yeah. and they sometimes keep that chin up, and yes, I think that's what yeah, he's got oh, popping in. Good. Yes. Oh, wow. nice. That's two. Don't get this corner. Man, he. Yeah. Tyson Fury, Court? the Undertaker. Court's <laughs> Court's hitting more, but Chris is hitting harder oh, right yes. now. Yes, Chris has some heavy. Court cannot go down again. I like to see him set it up a little bit. Oh, Cole. nice. Coleman with Chris fireworks. Chris ate that, though. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's, uh-oh. We might. Uh, that was a trip. Oh, he fell on his arm. He fell on his arm. He might have hurt his he arm. Not. Yeah. Oh. He fell on his arm. Oh, no, I think he, did he rack himself? Or did he get wrecked? I don't know. I'm not sure what. Is that a technical term? There. <laughs> Courts falls or um, very something. Exa- not exaggerating. No, very yeah, I don't want to call them. I don't call them out on something like that. They're just very um, unorthodox. Yes. Yeah. Visible. It's like a wrestler bump. This, I mean, honestly, we are hearing it was a groin shot. It's hard to hear this. But this groin shot may play in the advantage of court. It's going to give him time to oh, recover. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's officially a groin shot. You know what? Yeah, Honestly, if I was him though. I would milk that time because yeah. <laughs> I was giving you the time to rest. But yeah. 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 Like it I said, may, normally, you may not like it, but no. I said normally you don't think a groin shot will help you, but in this case, it might because he did get dropped twice. Yes. Yeah, so. so you might not like it, but no. everyone at home, he's allowed to take the time if they yeah. allow it. Uh, yeah, up to five minutes. Hopefully, he has a steel cup on. But yeah, yeah. I don't think they minutes. started that. A five minute. No. Okay. Good. Yeah. We're checking for a confirmation 40, on that time. 40 okay. seconds left. Yeah. We have 43. He said 40. Oh, nice. oh that's it. We're done. That's it. Uh, no? Is the, uh, okay. So there's not, I guess it's not okay. a three fall rule. That's, these, my, that's my fault. I, I would have thought the yeah. same. Are these falls a product of Taekwondo? I would not, and I would advise anyone I'm training to not visibly be that way. Yeah. <laughs> they are pro, so I think the refs being a little bit more lenient yeah. with this. Yeah, normally, if this would have been amateur, the fight would have been stopped. It's the way he fell the first time. He's definitely hurt, though. That's, that's it. it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Kind of. There you go. Yeah. Kind of strange. Wow. I mean, it was an yeah. exciting end, but it, we saw it happen four times yeah. already, so it's the crowd's a little too <laughs> I know. They're yeah. Well, and I think they're like me. A lot of times after three knockdowns, it's done. Yeah. So here we and go. How about a replay? And the way he fell. Yeah. It's not just he's dying. He's not getting just no, knocked yeah. out, guys. Like it's very visible. Oof. It's, it's very. Uh, I mean, because term- his body goes limp. Yeah. So that's why I keep thinking that. The okay, term, he must be out. The term dramatics. 
uh, it's like I don't want to say he's doing it on purpose, but they are dramatic falls. Yes, That's, but if this yeah. was MMA, I don't think that would have been the same deal. Right. I, I mean, I, I'm Ooh. curious as you go look back at more of his fights and see yeah. how if he's been dropped and how he has. Mm -hmm. uh, but Chris Petty with a huge victory here. So this is his weight class. <laughs> That's yeah, what he was I mean, saying. So. Good job for Chris Petty. Hard night in the office for court. Good striking. And and it went over a Bellator veteran. So. Yeah, he has some really, I didn't notice it either at first until the very last strike. He has a really nice reach. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, we, we, you know, we're kind of talking about he was kind of brawling, but it, he was brawling, but it, it's going to yeah, sound weird. Was. But it was like a technical brawl. He, yeah. he knew where he was going with his shots. They were just kind of yeah. I mean, he took some wild. risk when mm -hmm. you're when you're really throwing that open and your head is going that low. It is a, it is a risk in kickboxing to take possibly a strike to the face yeah, coming like from the foot. Yeah, especially well, pro with the knees too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah so. Oh yes, absolutely. So um, I'm sure he he knows that. Uh, so I I would usually advise him not do that, but he has a great reach. It worked out for him. Good job to Chris Petty. So here we go for the official word. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Stewart waves off the contest at two minutes, 49 seconds of round number one. Declaring your winner by TKO, Chris the Punisher Petty.